In a recent video I posted before this one, a link to it is beneath this video, I said that Heptabase currently offers the best options when it comes to working with PDF highlights, better even than LogSeq, which many people understandably point to when it comes to apps that enable you to drag a highlighted passage from a PDF, drop it onto whatever page you're using to collect and add notes to those highlights, and then, if you want, click on the highlight to be taken back to the page of the PDF it came from. But then, in that video, I focused on only Heptabase, not LogSeq. In this video, I'm going to show you why I think Heptabase's way of working with PDF highlights is better than LogSeq's. What I say here should not be taken to mean that Heptabase is superior to LogSeq in all respects. LogSeq is a great app. It's one I have used for a couple of years now, mostly for keeping track of things in my life that are unrelated to the research and writing I do, which is what I've used Obsidian for for about three years and that recently I started using Heptabase for as well. The last thing I should say here before moving on to talk about Heptabase and LogSeq is that I am a member of Heptabase's affiliate program, which means that if you use the link beneath the video to try out Heptabase and end up paying for a subscription, I'll get a portion of the money that you pay. Adding a PDF to LogSeq is pretty easy. Hit the backslash and start typing asset. You'll then be prompted to select a PDF from the files on your computer. Once the PDF has been added, you can click on the link and the PDF will open on the left-hand side of the screen. After highlighting a passage, you can drag it onto whatever page you want to add the highlight to. Note what happens when you do this. First, the highlight is preceded by a circle in the color used to highlight the passage. Second, there's a page number that gets added. As you can see, this page number does not correspond with the actual page numbers in the document. Instead, since this is the 11th page of the PDF, the highlight from it is preceded by page 11. Lastly, if you click on the highlight, you'll be taken to more or less where the highlighted passage was dragged from. One thing to note about this is that the link back to the PDF takes you only to the top of a PDF page. It does not take you to the precise location of the passage on the page the way we'll see Heptabase does, and that, if I'm not mistaken, Obsidian and Zotero can do when you've got the community plugin connecting those two pieces of software. The real problem with LogSeq, as I see it, comes when the PDF you're working with has been insufficiently OCR'd. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. Some PDF apps will OCR are your PDFs for you, but sometimes it doesn't matter how well a PDF has been OCR'd. There can still be text in certain PDFs that LogSeq and plenty of other apps simply can't read. When this is the case, it can be really nice to edit a passage that you've highlighted and dragged onto a page. Unfortunately, LogSeq currently does not enable you to both edit a highlighted passage and have that passage link back to where it was taken from. So here I have a PDF open of an article that is decades older than the one we were looking at before. It's often the case that PDFs of older articles can't be OCR'd sufficiently. As you can see, the text I have highlighted is not identical to the text that is pulled onto this page when I drag the highlight onto it. The pencil icon might lead you to think that you can edit the text, but you can't actually. Now, you do have the option of right-clicking on a highlight and selecting copy text, and when you then paste that text, you can make changes to it. But when you choose this option, you don't get a link that would take you back to the page of the PDF that the highlight is from. If you want the link, you could not only select copy text, but also select copy ref, and then, after pasting the text, you could create your own link back to the PDF page. But that takes more time than I and probably others would like. You could speed up the process by using something like Alfred or Keyboard Maestro on a Mac computer, or an Elgato Stream Deck device to create keyboard shortcuts or macros that will do a lot of that work for you but not everyone wants to take the time to create those. Before moving on to see how things work in Heptabase, let me summarize what we've learned about working with PDF highlights in LogSeq. As you can see in this table, you have basically two options for working with PDF highlights in LogSeq. You can use the drag and drop option, which will create a link back to the top of the page the highlight was taken from. It won't take you to the precise location on the page that the highlight is from, but as I said earlier, I don't see that as a real problem. However, in those cases where OCR hasn't worked well enough on a PDF, using the drag and drop option might be pretty annoying, since that could mean that the text you pull onto a LogSeq page is not identical to the text you highlighted. Yes, you can instead use LogSeq's copy text option, but then you don't get the link back to the page the highlight is taken from. And yes, you can copy and paste not just the text of the highlight, but also the reference back to a PDF page, but that can be time consuming. And that's true, I think, even if you do use keyboard shortcuts or macros. 
Since I've already posted a pretty detailed video showing you what you can do with PDF highlights in Heptabase, I'm going to now move immediately to comparing Heptabase with LogSeq. Like LogSeq, when you drag a highlight from a PDF and place it on a board or card, what comes along with it is a link back to the page of the PDF the passage is from. But whereas the LogSeq link will take you to the top of the page the passage is from, the Heptabase link will take you to the precise location of the passage on the page. For the most part, as I said earlier, I don't think it matters whether you're taken to the precise location of a highlight on a page or whether you're taken to the top of the page. Once you're on the relevant page of a PDF, it probably won't take you more than a second or two to locate the highlight you're looking for on that page. But maybe if you're reading, say, a web page that has been turned into a PDF and the resulting PDF consists of a single very long page, then being taken to the precise location of a highlight could be pretty useful. Where Heptabase is, in my view, clearly superior to LogSeq is when it comes to working with PDFs that are still a little messed up even after they've been OCR'd. Let's see how much more quickly Heptabase lets you make changes to passages from such PDFs compared to LogSeq. Here's the Heptabase way. Drag and drop. If anything's wrong with the highlighted text or you want to add a page number at the end of it, then you can manually and quickly make changes to what you've dragged and dropped. Here's the log seek way. Drag and drop. If anything is wrong with the highlighted text, then you delete the text. Right click on the highlight, select copy text, paste the text in your note, and then, since you're going to want to know the source of the quoted text, you add the name of that source and perhaps also a page number, and if you want to add a link back to the page the highlighted text was pulled from, then you right-click again on the highlighted passage, select copy ref, and paste the link. And yes, as I indicated earlier, you could use macros and keyboard shortcuts to speed up this process, but I'm pretty sure you'll never get it to work as fast as things do out of the box with Heptabase. I'll conclude by pointing out that if you like the idea of doing things even more slowly than LogSeq does, you might want to check out the link beneath this video that takes you to about the 44 minute point in a video that Brian Jenks recently released. In that part of the video, Brian shows what it's like to use Obsidian to approximate what Heptabase currently does much better. My guess is that it's just a matter of time before Obsidian releases a great way of working with PDF highlights. As you can see on Obsidian's roadmap, they list PDF annotation as a plan feature, and they note that they are currently working for native support of PDF.js. In the meantime, Heptabase takes the cake.